another video here on the From the Farmyard podcast YouTube channel. And today's video, uh, last week if you saw Zach did his garden tour, and today I'm going to be showing you around mine. Now it is the beginning of June, so not too much is happening right now. But I figure we'll do a garden tour every month. That way y'all can see the process. See how it starts as just a little seedling to grow into a massive plant and we'll show the produce and all the harvest that we get from it. But today I'm just gonna go around all my different gardens and everything I'm growing and show y'all what's happening. So first up, we'll start with the main garden. Now this is the biggest garden we have and this is where we grow all our produce. Now we have a couple different little gardens like scattered around the property that just grow different things. We have like fruit gardens, I have my own flower garden, uh, I have a lettuce bed, all this stuff uh, that I'll show you in this video. But first, let's start with this garden, which is the produce garden. First up, we'll start on the end and we'll work our way down through the garden. But first, this bed is how is uh, holding our bush beans. Now, the variety exactly, I think it's a provider uh, bush bean. And you can, you can see them coming up here down there. Bush beans aren't doing crazy great this year. I see... Uh, a lot of them are kind of, um, where can I find an example? You can see here this was a bean and the leaves are getting a little bit chopped off. So what that is, I don't know. There may be a bunny in here um, or it could be some type of bug. We don't, I don't know. So beans aren't doing too hot right now, but uh, we'll see how that goes. Maybe it'll get better. Maybe it'll get worse. So yeah, that's what we do with our beans, and uh, yeah, let's move on to the next thing. Next up is our tomato plants. Now we've got four different rows, two, three, and four, all the way back there. We got four different rows of these tomato plants. Now these tomato plants are ranging from, we've got Roma, we have uh, Black Crim, uh, we have... A red zebra variety that I got from Seed Savers Exchange. We have some brandy wines. Um, and we also have some cherry tomatoes. These tomato plants are all looking really well. I planted these back in the beginning of May. Um, so we had a little bit of a frost um, at first, but now you can see these tomatoes are. I mean, look at them. They're beautiful. They're starting out really, really good. I'm excited to see how these go. All in all, I counted all the plants that we have. We have 45 uh, tomato, 45 tomato plants. So that's, that's definitely cool. Um, it's a lot, a little bit overwhelming, but we'll see what we can do with them. Uh, right here, I've got a couple starts from last year that have just popped up. So we'll see how those grow as well. I don't really know what variety they are, but we'll see what happens. So, yep, tomatoes are looking great. 45 plants of these. Um, but yeah, tomatoes. Now next we have these pepper plants. Now these were started a little later, so they're definitely a bit smaller. But pepper plants in general do take a while to germinate. And then once they germinate, it takes like forever for them to grow. So to say what varieties of peppers we have, I want to say jalapeno and uh bell peppers where those are located i have no clue but um we have a couple beds of these they're looking nice i mean besides the fact that they're super small right now but they'll grow in time and we'll definitely get a good harvest from them I don't mind the weeds i need to get in here and weed them out but we have uh, a couple uh sugar daddy snap peas i think these are sugar daddy i don't know if i'm getting the varieties like perfectly correct on all of these but i'm doing my best for y'all um there's some sugar snap peas here um and these are looking really good um out of all the seeds that i planted i mean a majority majority of them came up so these these will trellis up this uh fence and then hopefully we'll get some peas. We have, oh look, you can already see it starting. Look at that, y'all. That's crazy, that is so cool. So you can see the peas are starting to, starting to trellis. They'll work their way up this fence and we'll have peas in little to no time. 
the next trellis, uh, I have these uh, asparagus yard long beans. Now, I tried to grow these last year, and they did not germinate at all. So I didn't get a chance to really see how these did. Um, but out of the seeds that I planted, you can see them coming up. They all, they look amazing. I'm super excited to see how these work. If you don't know what a yard long bean is, it's, uh, basically it's a green, it's a green bean, right? But they're like super long. So when they say yard long, they're like not kidding. Like they grow like a yard long. So I'm intrigued to see what these grow like, uh, and how they taste. Cause it says asparagus yard long beans. So Maybe it'll taste like an asparagus. I don't know. I've never done yard long beans before. So pumped to see how these work out. Uh, but so far they are looking absolutely beautiful. Um, and I hope that the they are very prolific in their produce and harvest. At the end of the trellis we have a couple more uh, sugar daddy snap peas coming up. And they look very nice as well. For the next couple of beds we have cucumbers. Now we grow quite a bit of cucumbers so I'll go through those varieties and um, you know what type of plants they are and stuff. First up we have the straight eight variety. Now they are a little bit the the colors on them are definitely they don't look the hottest right now uh, but hopefully they'll take root and they'll grow to a nice size and they'll do well. We'll put up a trellis here um, that way they can climb but we have straight eight um, this whole row is straight eight. These are, what are these? Armenian cucumbers. And these guys, these guys are looking really nice. These guys probably look the best out of all of them. And these were a variety that I just planted for fun. These aren't even for like canning purposes and putting on our shelves. These are just for fun. So of course the ones that I plant <laughs> that are not a necessity would be taking off. Um, so Armenian are looking good. These ones here are double yield. And these guys look measly. These guys look like crap. <laughs> um, I don't really understand what happened to our cucumbers this year. They didn't, they just didn't really take off. So hopefully that changes because we like our cucumbers and we use a lot of them. Um, and then over here we have this whole bed of munchers. We grew munchers last year and they're just a really just a really good variety of cucumber. They're small, they're crisp, they're fresh, they just have a good taste to them and they produce a very like bountiful harvest. So, plants are again looking a little bit uh spindly here. Looking a little looking a little dead. But, you know what? We'll I'm sure that'll change eventually. Hopefully they take root and Everything grows like it should. And lastly, our massive asparagus bed. To say what variety this is, I have no clue. I want to say something related to Washington, but I don't know. I've not fully learned what to do with asparagus, so as you can see, they kind of went crazy. Um, so still learning about that. <laughs> I think these definitely need trimmed back, but I don't know. Do you just leave them? Guys, if you know anything about asparagus, like, Leave it in the comments. I don't know what to do about this. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. <laughs> Guys, that's everything for our main garden, our produce garden. Uh, so let's move on to the other ones. I just put this garden here this year. So these mounds are all brand new. Uh, this is our squash garden. Uh, a lot of things we have to keep fenced in. So you can see right over there our fruit trees are all penned in. Simply because we have deer that will come and eat all the leaves off of everything. But what we find with squash is squash obviously go crazy. So whenever you're putting squash in your garden, they're going to take over your whole garden. So we didn't want that. And we've noticed that deer don't really come after the plants. So what we do is we decided this year to take a risk, not bother putting up a fence around the squash, but letting the squash go crazy in this whole back area. Cause we don't use this area so it could go into the woods if it wanted to. It could go all over the place um, and just letting it go crazy and I don't think the deer will bug it. Uh, so we've got a bunch of different varieties of squash and melons and stuff that I will go through with you right now. First up, we have the Trumboncino squash. If I'm saying that correctly, I think so. 
Uh, I got these seeds from Homesteaders of America last fall. So I'm excited to see how these grow. Uh, it's a fodder crop. Uh, that's what uh, the people that gave me the seeds said. It is a fodder crop. So apparently they grow like really, really massive long squash. Uh, so I'm intrigued to see what these tromboncino plants can grow. So we have our Black Beauty zucchini. We love zucchini and if you know zucchini you don't need a ton of plants to get a ton of zucchini. So we planted three three zucchini plants and I know we'll get a crazy harvest out of them um, but they are looking absolutely beautiful. Look at the leaves on them. They're just just growing like crazy. Next we have these icebox watermelon. Uh, it's a heirloom sugar baby apparently i didn't we bought these as plants because none of the seeds that i planted uh germinated and sprouted so we had to go to a greenhouse and get some so i don't really know what variety these are so hey at least we got some watermelon here so i'm excited to see how these do um i i love a good watermelon in the summer so we'll see if these produce but the plants are looking lovely Next we have these Jack B. Little pumpkins. These are basically, Jack B. Little are a, I think it's more of a decoration pumpkin. They're just like wee little pumpkins. These guys, we put four plants here and they're looking good just as well. Next we have these butternut squash. I've never grown butternut squash before, so I'm excited to see how these do. I like the taste of butternut squash and in certain meals, it's just really, it's a really good uh, squash. So never grown it before though, so I did three three butternut squash plants. So we have our spaghetti squash. Now we've grown spaghetti squash for years now and it is just, they've always done really amazing. Um, they go crazy. So that's why, that's another reason why we're bringing everything back here near the woods because they go everywhere. They can take over a garden, um, but they also produce a magnificent amount of produce. And I mean, look at these plants guys. These plants are looking absolutely amazing. They're taking root and they are growing like crazy. And lastly, I have my jack-o'-lantern pumpkins. And if you guys know with Halloween and stuff, you know what a jack-o'-lantern is. So jack-o'-lantern pumpkins are basically just big, large pumpkins that you would use for carving. That's the whole squash garden. I'm super excited about this new space because I like the fact that it's not in our main garden and we've given our main garden more space for other produce by putting all the squash back here. I'm excited to have it all back here. That way it can just run free and it's not bothered by anything. So this is our brand new uh, squash garden. Before I end this video, I have one more garden I wanna show you guys, and that is my flower garden. Now, I call this my flower garden because it's all flowers right now, but maybe later on I will just take this garden and plant produce in it. So we'll see. Um, now, I don't totally remember what I planted. I'm gonna do my best to remember what I planted because I did not mark them. <laughs> I just like, I, I did not mark them. I just put seeds in the ground and I'm doing my best to remember what I put. So yeah, let me show you my flower garden. I think I've shown you guys my garden before, the whole layout, you guys, you, there it is now now you know if you didn't already um but i'm just gonna go through the beds and what i planted try to remember so in these these are all zinnias um i planted a lot right there uh that that needs help <laughs> definitely I, I might have to thin i don't know what i'm gonna do yet um so to say what varieties they are i have no clue i think there's coral zinnias on the end maybe some candy cane striped some giant zinnias and then normal zinnias. I don't, I don't totally know the variety, but I know this whole bed is zinnias and the germination rate. Look at it. I mean, they all came up. It's beautiful. Uh, right here for this very nice arch trellis, I have these little morning glories coming up. Um, and then over to the opposite bed, there's some more coming up as well. So those will be absolutely lovely on this trellis. I did the same on this trellis. Um, I think the two varieties are pink and blue. Uh, to say what is what, I have no clue. Uh, <laughs> but when you walk into my garden, that'll be absolutely uh, beautiful just seeing the flowers 
overtake these two archways. But next, I have this whole bed that I have no clue what I planted. I think... <laughs> I, I think this is... Uh, okay, okay, I remember. Three rows of the sweet pea. These three rows of the drumsticks, and I think these two might be coxcomb? Coxcomb. I think it's coxcomb. So, I'm not seeing anything in this bed yet besides the morning glories. I think these took a little bit longer to sprout, so... When we come back for the next uh, monthly update of garden tours, I'm sure that these will be up and a lot bigger. <laughs> this bed, same thing, not a crazy ton of development. I think like there's a couple that are starting to come up. If I remember properly, I know I planted delphinium, snapdragons, and lupin. Where I put them, I have no clue, but I know that those three varieties were in this. And these are the ones that this bed I'm most excited about. I'm really hoping that this bed takes off because I really like the thought of the delphinium, the snapdragons, and the lupin. I love the way they look just because they're just like tall flowers. I just think they're so cool. And I really want them to grow. And I'm not seeing a ton of development right now in this bed. And it's kind of sad. And it's pathetic. <laughs> so let's just, let's just hope and pray that things start to take off soon. Because I'm really hoping for at least some flowers this year. But you know what? That's what it is with gardening. We learn from our mistakes, right? Right, guys? You know, maybe I can learn next time that Reagan, you should have not direct sown them. You should have started them indoors. Maybe you would have had better success with them. So, you know, we're learning from our mistakes and um, learning to grow through that. This bed has the dahlias. There's like a pom-pom dahlia and then like the big dahlias. And those are up here and then down here in this row, these are, these are marigolds. You can see the dahlias coming up as well. There's another one. So, oh, there's a bunch up here, guys. Look at that. Look at them go. My little buddies. You got this, guy. Produce nice and big for me so I can at least feel satisfied with what I did this year. <laughs> now this next one is probably my favorite part of the whole garden. It kind of ties it together. Now don't mind the crazy grass in here. I kind of need to trim everything. Just haven't gotten to that point yet. So you know what? You guys get the raw footage of what my garden looks like. This is what it looks like whenever I don't do anything with it. Ta-da! So let me show you guys what this is and what I'm growing in here. Hello to my morning glory TP. This thing I'm so excited for. So you can see the morning glories in here. And these these morning glories are gonna trellis up this TP. And then I'm gonna be able to go in here, take a seat. Dang, Blue Jays pooped on my stump! Gosh dang it! I'm assuming it's a blue jay because the blue jays always poop on my stuff. Gosh dang it. I was going to sit there. Not anymore. Darn blue jays. Anyway. <laughs> They're going to trellis up this and just overtake this uh, whole trellis. They're probably going to go even crazier. They may go out and trellis up my sunflowers. This, this whole bed back here, this corner bed. This is all sunflowers, so maybe they'll do that too. I don't know. We'll see what happens, but I'm excited. I'm excited to see this be just full of flowers. Uh, but over here, then we have our sunflowers, um, and this whole corner bed, like I said, is sunflowers. I may have to plant a couple uh, more seeds because, as you can see here, uh, this area nothing came up but right beside it one did so we may have to start uh, some more um, sunflowers because I really want this whole back corner to just like go crazy with sunflowers you know what I'm saying like let's just let's just look at this for a second guys you walk in to this big archway and it's got all of these like beautiful flowers on it you look back here this has flowers on it you can sit on the bird crap seat if you really want to. If not, I mean, that's your choice. That's completely up to you. <laughs> you got all these flowers in these beds. And then right in the back, you know, just to like really add to the essence of this garden, 
you got sunflowers and they're just like up above everything else like that's the goal see all this it's probably only going to come up so high but sunflowers go up and it just is going to be reaching for that light and you're just going to notice it and it's really going to add to this whole this whole area last two beds are still vacant so i don't really know what i'm going to do with those yet i may plant some other sunflowers maybe i'll do black uh the black oil black oil sunflower seeds because i know chickens can eat that so i may do that for the girls um just as something to fill that bed but that's that's the that's the goal for this garden to see everything you know that's the goal for all the gardens i want to see everything grow every all the work that i put into it all the seeds that i planted i want to see them all grow and i want to see them all thrive uh, but right now obviously it's the beginning of june so we're not seeing a ton of development yet. Uh, but over time, whenever we do these monthly uploads, uh, these will definitely, you'll start to see some changes. But right now, you know, as gardeners, we need to show the beginning stages because not everything takes off right away. Not, no, everything, nothing takes off right away. It just doesn't. Some things flop, some things thrive. You know, whenever you first plant a seed, it's going to be a week or two before you start seeing actual proof that it's growing. So, you know, as gardeners, we want to show that. And as educators, we want to show you all that, hey, just because you just planted them a couple days ago and they're not coming up doesn't mean you're failing. It means they're working on it. You got to give them some time. Gardening takes patience. I know it's hard because you want to see those things grow like crazy, but you know what? Sometimes you got to wait and in the end, it'll all be worth it. Um, so I think that's everything for today's video. I think I went over pretty much all the garden spaces, everything that we're growing. I'm excited to do more of these monthly uploads with y'all because I want you to see the two different aspects of our gardens. So you'll see mine and then you'll see Zachary's and it's just going to be really cool to tie it all together and just see it all come all into one. And at the end, maybe we'll do a whole movie. We'll just combine everything to like a massive movie so you can see the whole process, everything. Um, but we'll think about that. Maybe, maybe we will, maybe we won't. But I hope that y'all stick around and you get to watch this journey and enjoy it with us. Grow on, y'all. We want to see your gardens and we want to see you thrive. We're here to help. We're here to educate. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye, guys.